Uh, we are now at the Oceanside Small Craft Harbor Fishing Pier, which uh, is just a little bit south of the main Oceanside Pier, but seems like a totally different world. Oceanside Pier, this huge long pier, a different environment, it's always crowded with people. Here we're in the harbor, which uh, right now is crowded. It's a Sunday afternoon. And I can hear the so sea dogs barking. But uh, this is a small pier. Uh, primarily, you're going to be catching fish that are common to the harbor here, obviously. So the main fish caught, on the bottom at least, are croakers, yellowfin croaker, spotfin croaker. Catch a lot of sargo here. They do catch uh, inshore here by the rocks. They catch uh, opali, they catch uh, black perch, a variety of different kinds of fish like that. If you fish the top waters, you're gonna catch, uh, hopefully, catch some, some mackerel or some jack smelt. Uh, at night, sometimes, because it's in the harbor here, barracuda will show up, and so if you're using a spoon, something like a gold cast master, something like that, you can catch a barracuda. And of course, probably the favorite fish caught out here in the harbor is California halibut. And um, for those, you try to catch a live bait if you can, and uh, use that in various, like a Carolina rig or something to catch a halibut. Uh, because it is small, it doesn't take very many people to fill up the pier. Uh, most days I've been here, there's been room, uh, very little crowding, but it does get crowded. You can see today is a Sunday. There's quite a few people out there. Some are fishing, some are just watching, uh, but it, uh, not the same as the big Oceanside Pier, obviously. And the environment's different. The, the fish, some of the fish are the same, but some are different. Uh, I've always had best luck out here early in the morning, uh, daybreak, dawn, and then dusk later, uh, just before it got dark. Um, seems to be the best time to catch the the uh, croakers seems to be the best time to catch the halibut uh, and of course mackerel they love early bite and an evening bite um, the a number of a lot of different different species are caught in the harbor here uh, but it varies a little bit uh, by time of year right now they're dredging the harbor which uh, muddies the water, but it also loosens up a lot of the stuff that's down in the mud, such as the worms and such as the, the ghost shrimp, that type of thing. So sometimes when they're dredging the harbor, actually the fishing improves. You'd think it would hurt her, but actually it improves both here, and because a lot of the water goes a little bit farther south, actually improves the fishing down at Oceanside Pier. Um, this pier, dedicated to veterans, most of the time when I'm out fishing here, oh, there'll be a veteran or two. A lot of retired people come out here and fish. You don't have to, you're so close to the, to the, the street, you don't have to carry your tackle a long ways to, like you would at Oceanside Pier. Uh, it's just a lot more convenient, a lot more closer, a lot more easier. But like I said, sometimes, um, maybe because of the smaller pier, you don't have as much chance to catch some of the schooling species, like you might catch it. Oceanside Pier like mackerel or uh, perhaps sardines or even the queenfish. I've never seen very many queenfish slash uh, herring caught at this pier. There are a lot of small, uh, there are a lot of shiner, small shiner perch around the piling sometimes. You can take those small shiner perch, put them on a Carolina rigging, throw that out and it makes good bait for the halibut. But most of the time, most of the fish, uh, most of the decent good quality fish are going to be croakers, sargo, uh, some, maybe some big perch, and hopefully a halibut. Uh, at night it can be pretty decent also for the shaw rays, and all the plethora of different species are caught out here. Everything from the thornback rays, that we call thornbacks, to bat rays, to uh, round sting rays, to butterfly rays. Occasionally you'll see a horn shark out here, leopard shark, leopard sharks do show up. You don't see very many of the larger sharks, though. You don't see the uh, seven gill sharks, or I haven't heard of them out here, and I haven't heard of really uh, thresher sharks out here. They do better at the Oceanside Pier. So most of the fish, medium-sized fish, but it's a more relaxed atmosphere, and just because it's so close to the street, you're just 50 yards maybe from, the, from, from your car to the pier, it's real easy, especially if you're a little bit older and don't want to take a long walk out into the Oceanside Pier. And it's uh, free and it's a nice place to go. 
They have benches here by the front of the pier. People barbecue and have small uh, picnics. And all day long, you'll see people jogging up and down the street just out for a walk. So it's very nice, comfortable. And right across the street are the restrooms. So that's nice. Again, it's a very convenient pier. So, Oceanside Small Craft Harbor Fishing Pier. Hey, we hope that you watch our pier fishing videos. We have two aims. One aim is to educate people how to be better anglers. And secondly, we hope you entertain you a little bit. Hope you enjoy these films. Watch the films. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And keep watching.